Hey guys! Okay, so I'm going to be doing an update on my Project 10 Pan. Um, I did film a video already. I'll put every all the information in the description because I don't want to waste time talking about that when you could just read it really quickly. We're going to get started on my Project 10 Pan. I did finish a couple things. Um, so, what I first finished was my Elizabeth Arden All Gone Eye and Lip uh, remover, makeup remover. Empty bottle. I'll show you what it looks like. So that was the first thing. I think that's even the first thing I finished too out of all of them. I think the second thing I finished was my Sheer Cover Duo Concealer in Light and Medium. I've used it so much you can hardly see that it says uh, Sheer Cover anymore. And that is what it looks like. So I was happy about that. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to, if I could have counted this as two, but I counted it as one because now I can actually throw this out. The next thing I finished was my uh, Matte Fluid Foundation from Yves Rocher in Rose 200. So it looks like, there's the back, there's where the number is. It's really hard to see. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right there. Okay, the last thing, <coughs> the last thing I finished, which broke after, like, right when I was almost done with it, so that fell apart, but, um, it's my Sephora Mattifying Foundation, looks like this, and it's in the color Medium, uh, Medium Honey. So... I'm actually going to be uh, repurchasing that as soon as this Project 10 Pan is over. So that is the end of what I finished in my Project 10 Pan. But I also finished a ton of random products. After I finished my um, Elizabeth Arden uh, makeup remover, eye makeup remover, I started using this one. And it's the Sheer Cover Conditioning Cleanser. It's not for your eyes, it's for all over your face. But I was able to finish this as well. So that's done. And then after that, I was able to finish my Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. Makeup um, removers. Because I go through them really quickly. And especially because Halloween, I used a lot to take off my makeup because I was trying different looks. I can post some pictures here um, of what I look like on Halloween and the different things I want it to be. Okay, so now um, the Bath and Body Works uh, stuff. So, Bath & Body Works is my favorite store ever. Like, I have a million of these. Um, but I finished, I was able to finish this one off. This one I got a couple of years ago for Christmas, because it's a Christmas um, scent. It's Dasher's Apple Mint. So that's what it looks like. Um, then I was able to finish my Pink Chiffon. Uh, Triple Moisture Body Cream. It's the sig one of the signature collections. And that's what it looks like. Okay, the next thing, it doesn't really have a name because it's kind of ripped off. So, but it's a nail polish remover. And I was able to finish this and it took a really long time because I don't paint my nails very often. As you can see, I just mostly paint my toes. So that went really well. Um, the next thing was an Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Cream. But it was really good for my face. I liked it. And that's what it looks like. Um, and that actually lasted me from March. I got this in March and it's lasted me until now. And I've used it every night. It was pretty good. Oh, and I also almost forgot. Okay, so apparently I finished three different eye makeup removers because I forgot about one. There's my Yves Rocher uh, Gentle Makeup Remover for Sensitive Eyes with Organic Cornflower Water. That's what it looks like. 
I finished, I actually finished about four, yeah, four of these, but the other ones got thrown out. So this is my warm vanilla sugar and my peach bellini, but I did also finish um, aqua blossom and, and sweet pea, yeah. And this isn't really related, but I was able to finish these because I was writing so much. But I finished two complete pens. They don't write anymore at all. And I'm completely done. Like, they don't write. They're done. So yeah, I haven't made a video in two months. But this is what has happened so far. So now I'm going to show you what the other products I'm not done look like so far. Okay, so the first one is my Avon Opalescence Lipstick. Hasn't gone down at all. I haven't used this very much. Hardly used it at all, actually. I need to start using this more. I need to throw this in my purse and actually start using it. The next one is my Clinique um, Cream Blush in... Uh, I think it's in Glow Blush. I don't know. And that has gone a little bit. I hardly use it as well, but I am like trying to use it. I try to like either put it on my finger or just dab it and try to get that. Um, what was my next one? Oh, the next one was my number three highlighter in my mineral wear, the pink highlighter. I had to take out the stopper from this because the product just wasn't coming out and there's a little bit left like there's hardly much left to use on the little stick there's a little bit in there I'm trying to get out as much as I can because I do have another highlighter the next is my Lisenza seductive eyeshadow in bronze bell so that's what it looks like I was told these run out really quickly I think they were talking about the Victoria's Secret ones because these ones actually last a long time. There's so much product on there. It lasts forever. Forever. See that? There is so much pigment in here still. I am so shocked because these were like, I don't know how much. So there's that. Um, the last two were from this random palette. I don't know where I got this from, but the colors are actually really nice. I've been using this one a lot because it's like a dupe for this. First one is this brown color. This is a very nice brown to use in my crease. This light beigey color on this side. It has gone down so much. I just swirl my blender brush in there and put it like up here to um, help the transition from the dark 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 color to almost the white that I put on my brow bone and um, yeah that one should be done pretty soon as well so the two top corner ones I want to finish but that's it for now that is all the um, things I have for my project 10 pan if you would notice there's my little Snoopy and Max from um, the Grinch I got him at Build-A-Bear he was I think $12 but he's just so cute. And there's my Snoopy. I got him at the Hallmark store. He was, I think, $12 as well. There was a smaller one for $9.99, but it was like this big. And this one was only a couple dollars more, and it was like twice the size, or almost three times the size. So I decided to pick up this one. And he's cute for Christmas. And, um, yeah. That's about it. And I will try and make a video soon. Um, updating, but usually I don't update when nothing has been done because then that's just not fun. You're just seeing, I don't know, if you guys want to see that, a monthly thing, let me know. But if you just want to see when the actual, like, one or two products are completed, then I can do that as well. Um, just let me know down below and, yeah, we'll go from there. Anyways, I will see you in my next video and Snoopy and Max say bye. Bye, guys.